windfall elimination provision, also known as WEP. Now, this can come as a, a, a an unpleasant and nasty surprise to a lot of people. What it is, is it can be a reduction in your U.S. Social Security because you are receiving a non-U.S. pension. And I'm referring here to the state pension, which is what affects our clients the most. So the origins of this, I believe, are when they were um, setting up Social Security. Certain professions or industries were exempted. They had their own schemes going on. So to prevent these people or part members of these schemes later on uh, claiming both Social Security and uh, this, this, the their other pension based on the same earnings record, windfall elimination provision was uh, was devised to uh, to avoid that. Problem for us is it also catches UK state pensions. Now I'm sure it catches other pensions as well. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't capture uh, uh, company pension schemes, but I'm sure it, other countries and their equivalent of social security will capture them. But for our purposes, I'm talking about British retirees or people with. State UK state pension entitlements, and they can be subject to WEP. They can have their US Social Security reduced because of it. The first thing that's important to note is if you have 30 years paying into Social Security, WEP will not apply. So the rest of this is immaterial. It just does not apply. If you have more than 10 years, which is what you need to qualify for any benefit, but less than 20, then maximum WEP will apply. Maximum WEP is, in 2023, $6,690 per annum. So your Social Security can be reduced by up to $6,690 per annum. But it's also it's actually the lower of that amount or 50% of your state pension entitlement. The, the entitlement of the income that's not covered by Social Security, which for our intents and purposes is, social, is state pension. That will usually be lower. 50% of your state pension entitlement will usually be lower than that maximum. So that's the number to, to really focus on. Between 20 and 30 years paying into Social Security, the, the maximum wet penalty will reduce to zero at 30. So the more years you can have paying in, likely the lower the penalty will be, but the maximum it can ever be is 50% of what they consider the windfall. In this case, your, your state pension benefit. So if your state pension is the equivalent of $6,000 a year, the maximum wet penalty can be $3,000 a year. Your Social Security could be reduced by $3,000 because of your state pension entitlement. Now, Social Security Administration will reach out to you and send you a form, I believe, SSA Form 308, and on that you'll have to declare details of your state pension. And I think that includes details even if you're just entitled to it. And then they will calculate it and reduce it. This means that foreign exchange can play a role because obviously the foreign exchange rate changes and that can increase or decrease the value of your UK state pension and thus increase or decrease the penalty. I believe you can reach out to Social Security and ask them to recalculate the penalty if the exchange rate changes significantly and you think you would benefit from a lower penalty. So, it applies if you have a state pension. I don't believe there's anything you can do about it. The best remedy is to increase your years in paying into Social Security. This will increase your st- your benefit, likely benefit, from the US, and it will reduce the penalty. Uh, but bear in mind, the, the maximum penalty can be 50% of your state pension entitlement, and foreign exchange plays a role in that, and you might be able to get it changed if it moves in your favor.